It's Thomas, yes? And who are these people with you? They are obviously not simple travellers. No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainersphere, brother to the R. I remember you, Ban Tegan, though the last time we met I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Covered in mud? Alistair? It is you, isn't it? You're alive! This is wonderful news! Still alive, yes, though I'm just as surprised about that as you are, believe me. Indeed. Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. That Loghain pulled out his own men in order to save them. That Caelan risked the entire nation's safety in the name of glory. Loghain calls the Grey Wardens traitors, murderers of the King. I don't believe it. It is an act of a desperate man. So you are a Grey Warden as well. A pleasure to meet you. I wish it were under better circumstances. You're here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. Thank you. Thank you. This means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Now then, there is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. We still no sign of them coming back from the castle, Murdoch. So you're the Grey Warden, are you? I heard they all died with the king. So you say, a damn Kunari could walk up and say he was a Grey Warden. I wouldn't know the difference. We aren't going to turn aside anyone who wants to help, though. Don't take me for being an ingrate or nothing. Well, we do want to help however we can. You can trust us. Name's Murdoch, mayor of what's left of the village, providing we aren't all killed and hauled off to the castle tonight. Fair enough. What can I do for you? We need what little armor and weapons we got repaired, and quickly, or half of us will be fighting without either. Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. I'd appreciate it. If he doesn't help, he'll die like the rest of us. What good will that do anyone then? Tell them to maintain watch. I don't want a surprise attack before the sun goes down. Go away. Curse you. Leave me in peace. You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. Huh? Who is that? What do you want? I've been through enough. Certainly not. I don't know you and I don't want to. Off you go. Hmm. All right, all right. But I don't know why you're so determined. Here, I'll get the locks. Yes, sir. What should we do until then? Make his breath. What is that smell? It's like someone set a brewery on fire. Somebody's been drinking. So I let you in. You wanted to talk. Now we're talking. Mind telling me who you are? Funny you didn't sound like an elf through the door. Can't say I expected that. Anyhow, my name's Owen. Though you might already know that. Care to join me as I get besotted? Or is there something in particular you wanted? 
Why should I help Murdoch when he won't help me? Hmm? My girl, Valena. It's one of the Alessa's maids and she's trapped up there in the castle, but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village or anyone. It'd do me the world of good to think maybe someone like you could go in and find her. Provided any of us live through the night. If you look for Valena, I'll reopen the smithy and make some repairs for the militia. I can do that much. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damn thing, and I didn't believe him either. I want to promise. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. I'll accept that. It's something to hope for, at least. Right then. It seems I have some work to do relighting the forge, and I suppose I'll have to find some iron. Hmm, maybe at the mill. Oh, Murdoch just better send his men here as soon as possible if I'm going to get to all these repairs and get them done by nightfall. If you need anything done, well, just let me know. I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. Well, it looks like Owen's finally doing the repairs we need. The damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good enough, I say. I'll send one of my men to inform Bantigan the militia is ready for battle. We'll do our best. We'll fight until we can't fight anymore, however long that is. We could use some extra bodies. Having a veteran like Dwin in the militia would help a lot, but he flat out refuses. Right. Let's hope we see morning. There are many great tales of lost kings who return to their lands to reign in glory. I am not lost, nor for that matter, a king. And there's nothing glorious about me. No word from the castle? No, all is still, as it has been for days. It is an unnatural stillness, as though there is naught in there but death. Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Ban Tegan is to see you here. I must admit, I do not know how to address an elf in your position. I do not wish to be rude. As you wish, and thank you kindly. I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes. Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle. Or perhaps I would be dead. Ah, well. With a Grey Warden aiding our defence, perhaps all is not lost. When the Isle fell sick, we were at a loss. Nothing worked to cure him, and he just kept getting worse. Finally, our lesser Isold came up with a plan. The Urn of Sacred Ashes is a legendary artefact said to hold great healing powers. If found, it might save him. They say the followers of Andraste smuggled her ashes out of Tevinta and hid them in Ferelden. The urn's never been heard of since. 
We knights volunteered to seek it out. Few of us have returned. Many are still out there, unaware of what is happening here. We were never certain. He thirsted for water and then grew weaker and weaker. He brought in a mage, but even that did nothing. The Alessa believed he was cursed and that we needed the power of Andraste herself or he would surely perish. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. Say no more. The Arl lives and I will not listen to your inauspicious chatter. The repairs are underway surprisingly quickly, considering how drunk Owen is. We may just make it. Morale's about what you'd expect. These men aren't soldiers. They're villagers defending their homes, and they're frightened. Since you convinced Owen to start repairs, we're pretty well armed now. That is a relief, let me tell you. We're better off now that we've sufficient arms. I don't know that we're ready for the battle, really, but were we ever? Is there anything else? Right. Let's hope we see morning. Wonderful. Intruders. I hope you have a good reason for breaking and entering into my home. Apology accepted. The name's Dwin. Pleased to meet you. Now get out. So what? You recruiting for him? I'll tell you what I told Murdoch. I'm not risking my neck for this town. Thanks. But I'll take my chances in here. Everyone else can run around in the open waiting to die. Maybe. Let's hear what you've got. And what good would that do me? The Arl's probably dead. I couldn't care less what Tegan thinks of me. What else you got? Are you serious? Then why bring it up? Do you have something else in mind? I've had enough of you strutting around like you own the place. Come on, boys. This ends now. All right. No order, death. On. Ah! Look at this mess. I love it. The battle is finished. <laughs>